First look at AOSP Extended ROM based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at AOSP Extended ROM based on Android 12 running on the POCO X3 Pro. The security patch you can see is from October 2021. The kernel they are using is Chaldea kernel. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. This is how your power menu is going to look like. This is how the volume panel looks like. And this is how your quick settings panel is going to look like. You do have a bunch of tiles. And yes, they have added the independent mobile data and Wi-Fi tiles. Other than that, you also have tiles to change the screen refresh rate hpm is there cabc is also there along with a tile for direct sound enhancer next up let us have a look at the recents so yes you do have your pixel launcher in the building and as you can see you can share the link from the recent itself and similarly you should be able to share the image as well there it is working without any issues the recents are pretty smooth screenshot bam here it is works without any issues you do have the option to delete the screenshot as well next up with respect to your home screen if you go into home settings at a glance is broken on this build as you can see you only have the toggles no text is there which means the weather on your lock screen is not going to work then let us head over to the widgets section and of course you do have the paint chips or paint tiles easter egg now this one is going to show you all the colors in your specific theme and then if you tap on any of them you should be able to share those specific colors using the quick share menu then of course once you have updated all your applications from the play store you do get the new clock widgets as well so this analog one is going to let you choose between four different clock faces and similarly you should have the option of choosing a transparent background for the digital clock and you also have the stopwatch widget as well working without any issues next up let us go ahead and address your material you whether it is working or not so this is your wallpapers and themes section you of course have themed icons dark theme toggle along with the option of changing the app grid let us try to change the wallpaper now do note you do get the community edition and the motif static wallpapers for the pixel 6 live wallpapers the apk is linked in the description of the video all you need to do is install the apk and here it is you can see the blur effect is working without any issues as is material you everything has adapted to material you which includes your power menu your quick settings panel has also adapted to material you as does your applications have also adapted to material you which includes your contacts the phone application the clock application everything has adapted to material you so yes material you is working without any issues next up let us open the application drawer try to search and if you search in over here yes there it is system wide search is working without any issues and you can also customize what all content you want to see in your system wide search other than that another thing you might notice is that gboard has also adapted to material you now before you ask me hey manchi is gaming dashboard there unfortunately gaming dashboard is not available on this specific build then this is how your settings menu is going to look like let us go into apps see all apps here and choose any application let us choose chrome go into permissions location and yes you do have the toggle to enable or disable your precise location other than that they have also added options for network access and sensor access and the toggle to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some time is also there now once an application is removed and the permissions are removed it will show up over here in the unused apps section as for the default apps these are the default applications of course make sure you set the caller id and spam app as phone and you do have pixel launcher baked into the rom out of the box next up you have extensions so this is where you have the customizations which have been added to aosp extended so far first of all you can configure what all icons you want 
want to see in your status bar you can also configure your battery percentage style then you can configure your clock and date settings where do you want the clock do you want to see your am pm do you want to see the seconds or not and similarly you can configure whether you want to see the date and the date style format and position next up you have network traffic indicators there it is you can choose between disabled status bar and expanded header and you can configure your activity type do you want to see the arrows and you can also configure the thresholds next up you have miscellaneous extensions so here in aex logo in your status bar show the data disabled icon you have toggle for 4g icon volt icon roaming indicator and double tap to sleep on the status bar works without any issues double tap to wake works double tap to sleep on the lock screen also works without any issues next up you have customization for your quick settings panel here in quick settings so vibrate on touch do you want to see the edit icon do you want to see the running services icon quick setting pull down so if i select that i want it from the right hand side there it is it is now expanded pull down from the left it is not expanded there it is then you also have the option of quick setting footer warnings smart pull down is there you can change the animation style of your quick settings as well along with the animation duration and the interpolator effect so let us give it a try here it is let me try to turn on the flashlight bam everything is working without any issues which includes all the options which we had customized right now next up we have customizations for notifications so you can configure your heads up and heads up you can configure the timeout the snooze timer add applications and delete applications which are using your heads up notifications then you have toggles for vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect the section for navigation is empty right now then you have customization for your lock screen so you have toggles for fingerprint success and fingerprint error authentication vibration then you have double tap to sleep on the lock screen you also have the option to enable or disable your media cover art on the lock screen and you can configure the blur level using the slider then you also have music visualizer and you can configure a bunch of different options for your music visualizer as well next up you have system so here in you have general tweaks so you have the toggle for toe tap icon and three finger screenshot and you can also configure your buttons but before that let us check out if three finger screenshot is working or not there it is working without any issues you do get the option of capture more as well and the lens effect is working without any issues as well once you've selected all the area you want to capture tap on save on the top left and there it is working without any issues going back into buttons you can customize what all options you want to see in your power menu then you have power off screen torches there next up you have music control using the volume rockers do you want to reorient the volume rockers when the screen is rotated volume rocker wake is there and you can also control your keyboard cursor using the volume rockers in case you want to next up we have notifications so here you do have your per app notification control along with notification history priority conversations and bubbles to note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now and if i go into do not disturb and schedules i do not have the schedule for gaming dashboard which means just double checking whether gaming mode is available or not next up we have battery so you do have per app thermals and here are the different thermal options which you can choose on a per app basis next up you of course have your battery usage battery saver is there but extreme battery saver is missing then you also have adaptive battery and a toggle to enable or disable the battery percentage next up we have sound so in sound you have sliders for all the different options which you see you do have a toggle to link and unlink your ring and notification volumes in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that as well once you enable this you can configure the start volume and the ramp up time live caption option is there but when i try to download it it gives me an error so live caption is broken now playing do not enable this otherwise you are going to get media lag then you also have toggles for all the other options which you see on your screen right now but they have added the toggle to enable or disable your screenshot shutter sound then you have the option of direct sound enhancer 
along with the option of clearing the speaker and you can also configure the haptic feedback as well and this option works without any issues next up we have display so of course you have your adaptive brightness working without any issues go into lock screen you have always on display works without any issues go into advanced settings here then you can configure your ambient display options which include pickup raise to wake hand wave and pocket mode other than that in display you have your screen timeout the option of screen attention over here is missing dark theme you can schedule it based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise sunset to sunrise is going to access your location we can also try to enable the dark theme to see how the ui looks and here it is this is how the ui is going to look like once you enable the dark theme so as you can see dark theme is working without any issues next up you can configure the font size display size the dpi night light is there again two options custom time or sunset to sunrise and of course you can configure the intensity using the slider then you can change the colors between natural boosted and saturated and you can change the rgb strength as well and all these options are working without any issues next up you have auto rotate screen along with the option of face detection then you have double tap to wake your device already check this option kcal is there works without any issues here it is now with kcal you can also configure the saturation the contrast and the hue as well and you also have wake on plug along with other lcd features like hbm and cabc feel free to pause and read what these options do in case you want to use them next up we have wallpapers and styles so we have covered all these options with respect to security you only get the option of fingerprint no face unlock and fingerprint works absolutely fine but you only have touch to unlock you do not have press to unlock next up we have privacy so you do have a privacy dashboard here and you can see what all applications have accessed all the different options which you see on your screen right now but majorly you're concerned about location camera and microphone then you also have toggles to enable or disable your camera access microphone access and show clipboard access so let us have a look at how these controls work now for starters as soon as i open the camera application you do get the option of choosing precise or approximate location and do note the rom does come with gcam baked in out of the box so let me start a video recording and now as you can see i am getting a notification telling me that camera and microphone are being used by the camera application let us go ahead and disable the microphone access so we can go into privacy and disable microphone access and next up let us try to record a video one more time and this time here it is you can see unblock device microphone so it is telling me that mic access is not there if you want to use the microphone you will have to unblock the microphone access and the notification is also telling me that only camera is being used by the camera application so that is something pretty nifty which google has added with android 12 next up we have system so here in first of all you have gestures you can quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation you can choose between gestures and three button and of course you can swipe to invoke assistant and also control the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge one handed mode is there works without any issues then you can also press and hold the power button for assistant or for advanced restart so here it is if i go into advanced these are my advanced restart options next up you can prevent ringing by pressing power and volume up together to put the phone either into vibrate or into mute mode next up let us have a look at safety net so here it is let us check for safety net using the magis cap device is not rooted safety net is passing out of the box without any issues we can also go to the google play store here it is play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues with respect to youtube media playback live caption of course is broken but picture in picture works absolutely fine now of course for picture in picture either you need to have 
YouTube Premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for YouTube Premium. With respect to Google Photos, you get Storage Saver Unlimited or Original Quality which is going to count against your device. Storage and we can also try to edit a picture of my favorite football star. Here it is, Portrait Light in the Building, working without any issues and those of you who want Magic Eraser, we do have the APK and the install video linked in the description of this video now for portrait light it is only going to work for human objects it is not going to work for my chicken friend over here with respect to the assistant lady she is there but unfortunately she works only with the screen turned on with the screen turned off the assistant lady does not work next up let us have a look at the app opening animations so here are the app opening animations on your screen right now everything is pretty smooth of course refresh rate is set as 120 recents again smooth no jitters no lags let us have a look at our google feed as well again as you can see everything is pretty smooth no jitters and no lags 120 works absolutely fine then we can also try to switch between a few applications to see if you have any jitters or any lags nope no jitters and no lags in that respect either everything seems to be working absolutely fine so what is the final take on aosp extended running on the poco x3 pro well all in all a good rom it does have a few minor issues which do need to be tweaked and fixed but again do note android 12 aosp or cf based roms are in their early days right now and you will get stable roms soon enough hopefully and there it is peeps that was our first look at aosp extended rom based on android 12 running on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you